Well, get this, hundreds of Lodi Unified School District students are working with the International Space Station. Yeah, right in their own classrooms, they're studying how microgravity impacts plants. And today, ABC 10's Becca Habiger got to check it out for herself. When astronaut Scott Kelly returned from a year aboard the International Space Station in March of 2016, they compared him to his twin brother to see how low gravity, also known as microgravity, affects the human body. Did you guys look in the one in the dark, see how it's doing? That's the same idea behind this, an experiment called Exolab, which last month sent a plant seed up to the International Space Station to grow in microgravity. Students here at Krista McAuliffe Middle School are growing that exact same plant in similar conditions with the addition, of course, of Earth's gravity. I really feel the Exolab is getting the kids excited. Uh, they, they do want to look at it, we, and we look at it like every day, right guys? It's very interesting how we can actually compare something that's going on in space to Earth. Exolab comes from a Berkeley-based company called Magnitude.io. Can you imagine if you lived and you basically floated around everywhere? CEO Ted Tagami is here at Lodi USD's Creekside Elementary, teaching kids about the project. And our challenge really was to get access to extraordinary experiences for students that normally wouldn't have that opportunity. So what can we do to impart um, excitement, curiosity, and encourage these young people that there's a future beyond what they might think of as their future. That's why Exolab is in elementary, middle, and high school classrooms alike. I think because we have the name tag of NASA associated with it, it makes it a little bit more real in terms of science. We never really thought about this before. Well, I didn't really care much about space or plants, but I feel like this experiment really increased my my want to learn about these topics. It's very cool and interesting how we can see what, how the plants are growing in space and on Earth. We actually have this little device that we connect to our computer that tells us when the space station is coming around. And so each time that that happens, they're like, yes, there's our plant, there's our experiment. Showing students the sky is not necessarily the limit. Becca Habiger, ABC 10 News. Well, go ahead, Lodi. That is something else. We didn't do that in high school. I know. That is awesome. <laughs> cool. And Welcome listen to, to this. Them. Listen to this list. Yep. In addition to this plant project, students are planning to help build and launch a full-size satellite into orbit. What? In 2020. <laughs> That's so cool. We will have to follow up with that. I'm sure we will. Mm -hmm. All right.